Hey guys, <laughs> so long time no see, even though I've been promising to start vlogging again and making my way back, I will get through like two legitimate days of vlogging and then like not edit or upload the videos and then keep pushing it off and um, yeah, so I haven't been really on top of it. My mental health hasn't been too great so then that um, kind of fed into why I, I kind of um, took a really really extended break but I'm back um, and I promise I'm back for good this time. I really want to get back into the swing of things. Um, today is gonna be, I figured I would start today too um, cause I, you know, I go back and forth like every day, like do I start today, do I not? Um, and I feel like today is a good day because, um, I'm going out with my mom to do a few things and, um, there's just like little life things I want to update you guys on and I have the time, um, to do it today and, and to, um, get some of this stuff back in order. Um, so I'm going to be doing some organizing on my computer later when um, I'm home from running the errands I have to run, but it is so gross out. It's raining so hard. Um, but I just wanted to say hi, I'm back, and vlogs will resume um, for good this time. I promise. So, welcome back. Hey guys, <laughs> so long time no see, even though I've been promising to start vlogging again and making my way back, I will get through like two legitimate days of vlogging and then like not edit or upload the videos and then keep pushing it off and um, yeah, so I haven't been really on top of it. My Mental health hasn't been too great, so then that um, kind of fed into why I, I kind of um, took a really, really extended break, but I'm back, um, and I promise I'm back for good this time. I really want to get back into the swing of things. Um, today is going to be, I figured I would start today to... Um, cause I, you know, I go back and forth like every day, like, do I start today? Do I not? Um, and I feel like today is a good day because, um, I'm going out with my mom to do a few things and, um, there's just like little life things I want to update you guys on and I have the time, um, to do it today and, and to, um, get some of this stuff back in order. Um, so I'm going to be doing some organizing on my computer later when um, I'm home from running the errands I have to run, but it is so gross out. It's raining so hard. Um, but I just wanted to say hi, I'm back, and vlogs will resume um, for good this time. I promise. So, welcome back. So we're at my cousin's house. This is Bailey. We're gonna get her out of the cage in a second, but she pees as soon as she gets out, so we have to do a little setup. It's okay, Bailey. It's okay. So we move the pad in front. And then hold her, kind of hold her down on the pad. <laughs> there she goes. Hi. Okay, I'll make okay, sure we okay. keep her calm. Okay. Shh. No. It's okay. It's okay. You're gonna be up for a bit. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What? Well, Tush on her. Yeah. She did pee. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, girl. It's okay. Hi. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I know. It's you're okay, baby. We're here, here to visit okay. you. Okay. Okay. So yeah, she did. She did go to the bathroom. Oh, these things! I don't understand these things. These things. 
yeah, they are supposed to be like leak proof or whatever, but the floor always ends up like wet underneath them, even when it's not like super saturated. But now she's out, it's now 12, I think she could probably just put in a crate at like eight ish. So we're gonna play for with her for a while. So, she's about six months old now. Um, this is the food that um, they used to feed her. Uh, and I actually got these deodorizing wipes for cats, and I use these for her paws when she, like, pees and then steps on it. Um, and then I use these for her eyes, too. So, I don't know why they got the ones for cats. But, yeah, she doesn't seem to mind them. Her, uh, her, uh, what's it called? What's it called? <laughs> she wants them. Her, um, dental chew, is, she decides that playing with it's more important. <laughs> right? Look! Look! <laughs> dental chew. You gotta eat it. <laughs> Yeah, that's no. me. I'm, I'm dedicated. <laughs> Eat your dental chew. I'm Come dedicated on. to Berg. <laughs> well... You're like, this is too early for this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's early. Oh. Yeah. Did you inquire about the job, the babysitting job, at all? Oh, okay, because um, I was going to say... Uh, so we just left Bailey's, and um, it's raining pretty hard, so we couldn't take her outside or go for a walk or anything. Um, there's, like, flash flooding in some areas. Um, so we're going to go to Michael's now, because we had bought... Uh, like really really thick yarn and a really 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 big crochet hook to try to make those like um, chunky yeah like the chunky um, blankets and either the yarn was too big or the crochet hook was too small even though the crochet hook was like massive um, so we're gonna see if we can return it and then see I guess if they have other options for yarn and if they don't then we'll just I don't know we kind of don't know where uh, where we're gonna pick up after this what we're gonna do um, just a little bit confusing and it was hard to work with because it's gigantic like it's I don't know it was just it was really hard to try to try to do so I don't know if it was a crochet hook problem or a yarn problem, so we're returning, hopefully returning the yarn, hopefully they'll take that. I feel like the screen doesn't even do it justice, but it's really bad right now. It doesn't do it justice at all. We made it to Michael's, one of the best stores ever. So this is the old yarn we just returned. And I am holding, I don't know if you can see all four. Um, four that we found, or I found, that might work. So we're making our way back over to the um, area so we can maybe make a decision. Last up of the day is Trader Joe's. My mom loves getting flowers for her mom, um, the grandma that I take care of have taken care of. I haven't done it recently. So it looks like she's getting some roses. <laughs> so this is the yarn we chose. Not as thick as the old one. Um, and then this is the crochet hook that I actually am using to create the blanket. So I'm going to get it started now and see how it starts out. I bought um, six balls of yarn because um, they're probably too good one free so we'll see how this goes all right so i'm going to be heading to adrian soon i've been working on the new blanket um i am going to have to like pack away some 
arts and crafts stuff. Um, I usually bring a decent amount of that stuff when I go there just because, uh, you know, if like we're watching like sports or on Sunday Adrian works so he sits at the dining room table the entire day, um, I will be able to have something to do with my hands, which I do at home too, but obviously I have to pack things to bring it over there. So I wanted to show you what I got from my sister-in-law for Christmas. She had this made for me. It says I am strong and it's a tote bag and I use tote bags for everything because they're amazing and I use tote bags when I have to go to the hospital. And um, yeah, she used the three pictures. This is when I, the day I got my pick. Um, this was a body positive post I, I made. Um, this was from a really bad infection I was in the hospital for and this is from the first time I had sepsis. So, yeah, this means a lot to me, and because this yarn is so big, I'm going to show it to you in a second. Um, I'm going to throw the yarn and my arts and crafts stuff in this one, other than my overcomer bag. So I had, like, one in a, like, giveaway from Peter and Mary Fry from The Fry Life. Um, I got a free overcomer bag, um, also a canvas uh, tote, but the thing is with the yarn, mine is a lot bigger, so I'm going to be bringing mine. Um, I'm also going to be bringing my gel pen set that I recently bought for my bullet journal because I want to work on that this weekend as well. So, yeah. And then quickly, I just want to show you the yarn. Um, this is thinner. I think I might have shown you guys this already, but this is thinner than the yarn we had. I'm using the correct, um, size of the hook and uh, I've already finished one ball of yarn and I'm not done with the second row so basically I'm in the middle well no I'm pretty pretty close to the end of the second row this is all that I have to finish um, so it's gonna it's a nice size it's gonna be nice it's soft and it's very thick um, so it'll be very very warm um, but it's going to end up taking a lot of skeins of yarn, so I'm going to have to pack the other four and a half um, I have in my, uh, in my personalized bag. And last thing, this stuff is absolutely amazing. It does not hurt my stomach. It's like candy, uh, but it doesn't have like all the bad shit in it. Um, literally, I don't think it has anything that's, that could harm my stomach, so I go through this. This we got yesterday, and I'm, I'm having it now, so. This I recommend. Even if your stomach is perfectly fine, this is really good. So after this crazy, crazy storm that we had, it cleared up. Thank God. The flooding. I wish I could have gotten um, more of that stuff on video. The flooding was awful. Like, it was so bad. Um, and it hasn't been like that. I haven't seen flooding here that bad um, in a very long time. Um, oh, I should update on the blanket. I'm watching Stranger Things. Adrian will get me soonish, but. Hold on. I'm just under three balls of yarn, and this is all I've done is four, four, three or four rows, and that's it, and I've used half my yarn already. Hey guys, so I de decided on doing a two-day vlog, um, so it is the next day, it is Friday, um, and it is later at night, but me and Adrian are going to go on a date get hibachi tonight and so he's showering now and I'm just getting ready and um, I thought I'd bring you guys with us and uh, yeah I just wanted to um, I figured it'd be easier to just mush it into one day or one vlog and uh, easier for you guys to watch so
Go for it. Yeah. One, two, three. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. One more, one more. Again. One, two, three. Yep. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, you try. Lots of shrimp. So the place we went to is like literally down the street from the big mall we have in our area. It's like uh, the eighth biggest mall in the country. Um, so we stopped at Bath and Body Works because Adrian's mom needed a few things. This store is gorgeous. I can't even like do it justice and I love the new stuff that they put out and the, the candle wall it's just like I still have like my discount and everything I still technically work here uh, I'm just not at this location I never worked at this location I did their move though but like the packaging is just so beautiful even though a lot of these are repeats like Midnight Blue Citrus. Oh my god, that's like my favorite. Anyway, I gotta go meet Adrian at the, uh, the register. I just wanted to show you guys since we're here.